I love build up. Hey guys, this is Jeremy here with episode 21 of Supernatural. Sorry this review is late. Mainly the reason I is is I can't watch the episode the day of. I have to wait for the CW one to come out and all internet dies in the area I'm in after 10. I still don't have internet here, so I have to watch the episode on Thursday, and then I have to come back and do this review, and then I put it up on Friday. Uh, for the season finale, if I'm still in the same situation, I'm just going to record it on the spot. I don't care. I'll record it and watch and review it fry and upload it on Thursday. Anyways, this episode was actually pretty cool because this was just a lot of layout. It was a lot of build-up, admittedly. You know, kind of like how stupid part ones are to movies like Harry Potter or The, Mo uh, the Mockingjay, whatever. This was necessary, though, because we were just building it up. Like, we actually had God hanging out with <laughs> Sam and Dean, and that was kind of interesting because... Just the jokes that were being passed around and, and the awkwardness. And Dean actually has some pretty big questions and pretty big, like, whys to God. And it was very interesting to see Chuck kind of just brush them off and just to see how very... What's the word? He doesn't have a soul, right? That's what he said earlier, but he created them. So that was kind of interesting as well to say that. Um, but just it was very interesting, the character dynamics and... It actually felt perfect, honestly. Like, just how they were reacting with each other, it was really, really cool because Dean and Sam had to save Chuck in previous times, and now he's the one who's saving them. And then the whole uh, aspect with the darkness and Dean, that was very interesting, too. The idea of becoming, like, like I said, the becoming one, that's... I still think that something to do with Dean's mark is what's going to, or the connection they have is what the darkness's weakness is. I'm not looking forward to how that might end because I have a feeling Dean might have to die, actually die. However, the thing is, this season finale is looking to be such a freaking awesome build up. I have absolutely no idea what they're going to do with the second season, or, or the next season, season 12. All I can see is that this is going to be a continuation of that story. <clears throat> so, how does this episode hold up? It's pretty darn good. There's a lot of twists and turns in it. It's some very good drama. Like, I actually feel that they can't beat the darkness. Like, this has been the definite best villain since season 5. Because all the others are sort of... Like the demon tablet and all that other garbage, the leviathans. It's never been that good to me, in my opinion, uh, with Dean being Demon Dean. That was cool. I liked that aspect, but it was very personal. It was kind of like season three again. So to see a villain this strong in this season and like basically the end of everything, and also poor Metatron too. Metatron actually sacrificed himself and... That was a pretty sad moment, actually, I will admit. I actually felt sad for Metatron. I can't believe I'm saying that. But otherwise, it was cool. It was actually cool to see Kevin again, too, even for, like, a few little mi minutes. So this see, this uh, episode gets a 6 out of 7 for me as well. I was very... it was I was very much drawn into it. It was very intense. Sorry. Also, the uh, addition of the Atheist... A prophet that was gold that was pretty darn funny and I can't I know that actor from somewhere and he's a very good actor so anyways that's my review for this episode guys I'm looking forward to the next season because <laughs> the ad was this battle royale so that's gonna be funny anyway guys hope to see you soon talk to you later